I'm gonna go with sexual thoughts for Mark. Oh, I was right. Hot legs. Lava, lava. Yeah, you're a sex offender. How's it going, everyone? This is Ash, and this is Mind Scanners. This is a new game on Steam. Thought I'd check it out. Greetings, citizen. As you are well aware, your daughter is now in the care of the structure. She has been placed in quarantine at the Zagnoka Institute as she has shown signs of a highly contagious mental illness. Details of her condition are classified, but we assure you that she is in good hands for norm normality and the mind, the structure. Request to visit your daughter denied to access the Zeit. I am never going to say that properly. Zagnoka Institute, you must be a mind scanner with a level 3 citizenship. We understand your concern, but there is no need to worry. For your inconvenience, your daily maintenance is reduced to 2 k -pock. The structure. I guess I have to be a mind scanner then. Congratulations, you have been accepted to the mind scanners program. Enclosed is the needed equipment for the job. This includes a radio phone through which you will receive further instructions. The good structure thanks you for your service. You guys are forcing me into this, actually, because just to see my daughter, I have to do all this. I'm guessing I'm going to click the open button. Greetings, Mind Scanner. Your duty is to diagnose and treat anomalous citizens of the structure. I like the talking thing, by the way, the horn. For each completed treatment, you will receive 15 k -pop. If you can't pay maintenance at the end of each day, you will be exiled from the structure and thrown into the outer zone. I thought that said outer space for a minute. That would be terrible. The map of the structure shows citizens who have shown signs of strange behavior. Look, a citizen is in need of attention. Go pay him a visit. Uh, hey, you. I like your face. Rutger is a true nature enthusiast. He knows every tree in the structure and is the chief conservator of Triangle Park. Lately, he has become more connected with nature. In fact, he believes he is an oak tree. Kind of looks like an oak tree, so... What's this? Old Henson Park, the oldest park in the structure and the home of many strange creatures. Take a step inside the outside. What? All right, let's go to patient. Let's see what's up. Swoosh, swoosh. You have brain damage. Got it. All right. This citizen has already been scanned. His insanity amount and insanity types are displayed here. Where's here? Start treatment and remove his insanity before time runs out. I don't know how to play. Is you gonna? Yeah, I hope you show me what to do here. Uh, treatment. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Click this and drag it here. Okay. Alright, so press the button and hold it. Got it. That's one done. Uh, now what? Okay, now I click this. And move it here. This is... There is no tutorial at all. It's just saying do it, pretty much. Alright, now I move it to this one. And hold this button. Treatment complete. 15k. 
Thanks. That sounds like a lot. I'm not an oak tree. No. That's sort of silly, isn't it? I guess I spent too much time with vegetation. I better go visit my friends again. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad you appreciate everything I did. I just pressed a button and turned a knob. I mean, it was very difficult. But I'm glad you're okay and you're not an oak tree. Good job, mind scanner. No more citizens require your attention today. Get some rest and continue tomorrow. Sure, let's, let's go ahead and rest then. End of day one. Oh, I lost 1k from maintenance? No, 7k. Guess I need to do a lot more jobs. Your daughter is trapped in a room. You try to unlock the room, but the key breaks. She screams. That text is really, really weird. Three citizens require your attention. Choose a citizen and perform a mind scan to unravel their insanity. Remember, you take full responsibility for the diagnosis. Okay. Three, so that means I would get 15k, right? Alright, let's do it. I'm taking bag face. ZX81 appeared out of nowhere a few days ago. He claims to be a robot. But even the most untrained eye will see right through his acts. No, no, he's a robot. That's not a box on his head. He's totally a robot. Let's go. Beep boop. Halt, citizen. State your business. Do you work for Sinclair Research? No. Then who are you? Mind scanner. I see. I don't have a mind to scan, but you might be able to access my central processing unit if you want to look inside the workings of a cutting edge machine. Be my guest. Um, sure. Yeah, I'll look inside. Go ahead and take your helmet off. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do mind scan this time. I haven't done this one yet. Okay, doctor. So I'll tell you what, you, what I see on the screen. Hope you can make sense of it. Let's begin. Sure. Let's see what you let's see what you see. A mirror. A cursed creator. Why did you form a monster so hideous that even you turn away from me? Low self-esteem. I I guess we're going to have to go with that one. I mean, obviously he's a robot. Yeah, he's a robot. Oh. <laughs> A bunch of stuff on a conveyor belt. And some woman waiting for me to scan her soda bottles. I think I was hired because of my heightened skill of scanning objects. It's, a, it's definitely a boring job. Shards of glass on the floor. I escaped my glass cage, running from my creators. Did they fear my unimaginable strength and catastro catastrophic powers? Fear not, mother. Fear not, father. I am a good son. Run away. Yep, sounds right. This is what I look like on the inside. Intricate circuit board. Mechanical pistons. Valuable technology, especially in the wrong hands. No wonder they're all looking for me. You're wanted? No, you are pretty on the inside. Someone's face, reflected in a window. Hmm. I'm washing the window. Maybe that's how I could would look if I were human. Yeah, you do see yourself there. You see yourself in a reflection of window. The training facility, they taught me how to perform human functions, genital work, mostly. Cleaning windows and such. What a waste of all my powerful CPU. Okay, we're going to say lousy job. Sounds right. The underlying dissatisfaction with his job seems to be causing this individual to escape from reality and take person 
take the personality of ZX81, a robot fugitive. I don't think you're insane, bud. I just think you're doing an escape. I'm gonna say sane. All right, so ZX81 appeared out of nowhere a few days ago. He claims to be a robot, but even the most untrained eye will see right through his act. The underlying dissatisfaction with his job seems to be causing the individual to escape from reality and take the personality of ZX81, a robot fugitive. Personality type, the dreamer. No treatment needed. I think he's good. He's just escaping from a crappy job. Like, we've all been there. I'll put a box on my head. Sure. Why not? Patient, patient declared sane. No further action required. Uh, I only got three for that. If I said you're insane, I would have got five. All right, next. And program, I'm programmed to follow the code of the instruction. The only missing, only thing missing from my program is my purpose. Perhaps I shall never find it. Anyway, I must go. They're still looking for me. Yeah, you better go, bud. You don't want to get caught. I'm going to go with this man with his little mustache. Glenn lost his father at an early age, and he has since lived with his mother. He is a professional dancer at the Dome, but he has been neglecting his work since his mother passed away a month ago. Star Residence. A typical old residence in the Splendors. This has been the residence for three generations of the Star family. Star, huh? Alright, let's go. Like Patrick Star? Oh, a mind scanner. I, uh, did not expect this. Did Mother send for you? Well, come inside. Your mustache is amazing, buddy. Let's check it out. Mind scan. It's a magical place far away. Everyone is dancing, free from any duties. Dreams of freedom. Fear of magic. I'd say freedom. Chains tied to a house. Strange. You feel trapped. The set of the ballet huntsman. Wooden pillars rising and sinking into the wet forest floor. Fabulous. Uh, uh, sexual thoughts remarked. Hunts people are afraid of the woods. I'm gonna go with sexual thoughts for Mark. Oh, I was right. <laughs> okay. Glenn thinks his mother is alive and spends all of his time caring for her. He is submissive and nervous, great passion for dancing but can't maintain his work as long as he is trapped in the clutches of his dead mother. Oh, you're still sane. I, I, everybody seems sane to me. Glenn lost his father at an early age and has since lived with his mother. He is a professional dancer at the Dome, but he has been neglecting his work since his mother passed a month ago. That's completely understandable, man. Glenn thinks his mother is alive and spends all of his time caring for her. He is submissive and nervous. Great passion for dancing, but can't maintain his work as long as he is trapped in the clutches of his dead mother. I think you're fine. Patient declared sane. No further action required. I only got three again. Oh, that's good. Mother will be happy to hear that. Have a nice day, doctor. Is everybody here sane to me? Alright, let's see what you are. One of the three founders of Delta Corp. Florian is a specialist in sense, in senses, but lately his wife has expressed concern about his behavior, describing him as detached. I don't have enough to help you. I can't help you, man. 
I'm sorry. Do you want to end the day? I have no choice. Yes. You know, I paid one seven for maintenance again, but I only made three, so again I'm losing money. I lost another coin. Glenn Star never shows up at work. It seems like he spends all day and night running errands for his phantom mother. I thought you could help him. It's a pity, but I'll have to fire him. Gunner Gunnerson, stage manager at the Sphere. What do you want me to do? Declare everybody insane and do tests on him? Like, no, he's fine. He, he, there's nothing wrong with Glenn. Seems like Glenn's illusions have completely taken over. He will end up in the outer zone. That's not fair, man. Glenn didn't do anything wrong. He just had his mother pass away. Here's a penalty for neglecting your duties. What? I didn't neglect my... Okay, so the robot was fine. Okay, yeah. Uh-oh. We are keeping your daughter at the Institute for further examination. Letting her return home would be dangerous for her and for everyone around her. She is doing well. You have nothing to worry about. She is an interesting subject. You should be proud. For the normality and the mind. The structure. Why are you... What are you doing to my daughter? What, what's wrong with her? Okay. Maeve... Or Maeve... Is a guru. A wise and old cyborg. Children receive lessons from her as a form of school. But she refuses the definition. Parents are worried that her lessons are moving in a sinister direction. Let's check her out. As I predicted, you came today. I wonder what part of the future your machine will let me see. Yes. Sometimes I see a glimpses of the future. I am wise, yes. But these visions are the main reason I share my thoughts. People need to know. The children of the structure need to learn about their future. Alright. I like your hair, by the way. This is the being who contro is controlling everything, exactly as I envisioned. Call it God, if you'd like. Uh... Superstitious? Oh, okay, I guess perceptive. I don't know. A modification of brain cells connecting the gap between flesh and machine. Fascinating. It's so obvious. We need this, all of us. Transhumanist? I got one. Okay, good. Somewhere in the outer zone. Hmm, curious. Mind scanning allows me access to places I never heard before. What beautiful plants of strange creatures. Outer zone. I don't think a zoologist. Okay, zoologist. No. Okay, I didn't think it was. I didn't go with my instinct. The system that maintains the structure supply of Kapok. Such a frail thing. You planning a heist? I am not doing good on you. I see the wall collapsed. What kept our people in a closed loop is now open to the world. I say go with it. Tear those walls down. Let us breathe real air. Wants to feel safe. You are very difficult. Critical of boundary. I, I'd say wants to feel safe. What? 
A girl, your daughter, I believe, in containment unit, made of strange type of alloy. You should get her out. She's dangerous in the hands of the structure. I would say against the structure? The flow of that. We must be in control of his power. This power. It should never dominate us. Everyone should know the feeling of Zagnoka traversing your brain. Provocative. <laughs> what? <laughs> I am not good at her at all. I see generations of failures, one faulty version following the other. We should all seek out the next upgrade. We should always become better. Advanced evolution. I see. The fate of the structure. Thousands of people lying in the street. It does not have to be so. I mean, obviously, she claims to see the future. I'm guessing go with that one, because it's pretty, pretty obvious, right? Okay, good. This is the being who is controlling everything, exactly as I envisioned. Call it God if you'd like. Alright, so this one was not superstitious. I would say perceptive then. Machine believes she can she can foresee the future. This leads to a loss of ego, which leads to a loss of personal responsibility. Her teachings are a threat to the community. All right, I'm gonna go insane on her. She was hard, and plus she's got glowing eyes and her hair floats. Insane. Mount 8? Is that how many tests I had to do? I hope not. Awaiting treatment. Okay. Can I treat you? I can treat you. Okay, good. Let's give her the treatment she needs. Thank you for showing me your instruments. Interesting machine. Very enlightening. Let's proceed to the next part, shall we? Your Psychotron treatment device seems to be unstable. Avoid the red areas or you will stress your patient. If you want to develop another device, use the left panel to access the device manager. Choose a device that matches the insanity type of your patient. Uh, square. So she has this one, and she has one on the top. Develop it, I guess. Removes up to three in a row of insanity type, that one. Tidy up the mind by locating counting and eliminating threat patterns. Okay. Wow, those are just upgrades. All right, let's close that. Let's do this treatment. Okay, easy now. Wow.
Uh oh. Can I not do this? Day has ended. Uh oh. Citizens require further treatment. We know that the structure is keeping your daughter from you. We can help you, and we believe you can help us as well. Just remember to take good care of your patients. Don't break the people, break the structure. Moonrise. Okay. End of day three. Oh, I have no money left. Hello, this is Dr. Jensen from Sinclair Research. I heard you were the last person who saw the janitor, Bill. He may have introduced himself as ZX81. Yeah, I saw him. And you did what? Let him go? Tell me, did... Bill dressed like a robot. I guess, sir. He was a robot. I see. So you just found it perfectly normal to let our janitor run from his cleaning duty, dressed as a cardboard box, looking for robotic liberty. I think we're done here. What's your problem, man? There is absolutely nothing with the robot I saw the other day. Greetings. Mind scanners have recently been contacted by the terrorist group known as Moonrise. These people seek to destroy our society and must be stopped. Have they contacted you? No. Hmm, okay. If you receive a message from them or any suspicious messages, you are obliged to tell us. We will make sure to protect you for the normality of the mind, the structure. All right, so I got four credits left, and we got to check out the mouse. Gilbert has been missing for years and presumed dead. Somehow he has managed to disappear from society, but lately he has been spotted at a sewer entrance in the boots as well as various cafes. Let's check it out. Gilbert, Gilbert jumps from the shadows, shows his claws and hisses. He is a total mess. Hiss. Be warned, Bubber. Beware of the rodent. Don't come too close and, or you'll be turned to pieces. The rodent will bite you and give you the plague. Good or you'll probably die. Hiss. I'm gonna mind scan you, I guess. The trash can. I, my classmates at school, they emptied it on my head. I was covered in filth the rest of the day as the teachers did not allow me to go home. They laughed so hard. You're bullied. Hot legs, lava lava. The rodent likes looking at legs from below. But the rodent has, never has visitors. The rodent is very lonely. Hiss. Yeah, you're a sex offender. No! <laughs> Hiss. Get back, man. My nemesis. He used to be my boss. Always pushing me around. The rich bastard. One day I will rip out his cold heart and feed it to my rats. Vengeful thoughts. The east elevator to the outer zone. I was nearly exiled because of a flaw in the system. The maintenance man came knocking. He asked for two days of maintenance. But I had already paid. I had to pay again. Hiss. You evaded maintenance. 
Wow. Lava, lava. A slice of pie. Not too rotten. Oh. Lava, lava. A slice of pie. Um, survival? Oh. My dear ones. The rats who took care of me when no one else would. They fed me. They showed me how to navigate the sewers and how to survive without you evil abovers. Hiss. Reborn by rats. Dan, a co-worker from my past. The only one who at work who didn't bully me until I discovered his online hate forum where everyone posted hateful comments and pictures of me. That fucking traitor. Um, tyrannized at work. The lost soul claims to be a superhero named the Rodent after being bullied all through his life. He lives alone in the sewers, cut off from society. He is an aggressive attitude and is putting his own health at risk. He needs to get better. I think we need to treat him. 57 years old? Wow. All right, let's give him treatment. You may speak truth about my diagnosis, but make no mistake, the rodent is here to stay. Okay, so let's see what we got. We're going with this one for now. Oh, sorry. Treatment. Be careful with that thing. Sure. Let's go. Let's get to work. Alright. Gotta do it again. I don't understand the red thing. Oh, wait. I, I think I understand it. Alright, we can't we can't do this anymore. There's five. Two. Four. Wow, this one's hard. Two. Those three. I lost. Time's up. Your workday has ended. The citizens require further treatment. End of day four. I lose. Attention, citizen. You do not have enough enough cape pocket to pay maintenance. By the rule of the structure, you are hereby exiled from the city and are to be cast into the outer zone. For normality in the mind, the structure came over. Well, crap, I lost. Anyway, thank you all for watching. That was Mind Scanners. Pretty cool game. I'm going to play more of it, I'm sure. I want to get much further past day four, anyway. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.